Hello, my friends. In this modeling project, I am going to show you how to preserve plants and herbs for use with dioramas. Here are some samples from plants and herbs that I have preserved for my own dioramas use. As you can see their color is livid and they still appear fresh. In my opinion it's better to use your own plants and herbs when possible instead of fake ones. Because I didn't use so much color with these, they aren't as livid but they are still quite good. Here are some leaves that as you can see they retain their colors quite well. The materials that you need for the preservation process are a couple plastic containers, scissors, cellophane, glycerol, cooking green color, water and of course the plant herbs that you want to preserve. For example I will use Chamadoria elegans, the Ninabella palmor parlor palm, that is a species of small palm tree native to the rainforests in southern Mexico and Guatemala. The parlor palm is one of the most heavily sold houseplant palms in the world. It is one of several species with leaves that are harvested as zate. You can use it for example for jungle forestry and such. Also, I will use the asparagus cetaceus commonly known as common asparagus fern, asparagus grass, lace fern, climbing asparagus, or ferny asparagus, that is a climbing plant in the genus Asparagus. Despite its common name, the plant is not a true fern, but has leaves that resemble one. You can use it for example for pine trees and such. Last, I will use Solirolia solirolia that is a plant in the nettle family. It has a number of common names, including baby's tears, angel's tears, bits and pieces, bread and cheese, Corsican creeper, Corsican curse, friendship plant, mind your own business, mother of thousands, Patty's wig, and Pollyanna vine. It has also been called Irish moss, however, it is not a moss, nor should it be confused with Saginus sabulata or Chandra's crispus, an alga, which are also known as Irish moss. You can use it for example for typical tree leaves and such. Cutting the plants that I will use. I think these are enough. Filling the plastic container with the glycerol. I will use it all because I will use it for another project. When you are done you can use it for a couple more times. My glycerol is 300 milliliters so I will use about 300 milliliters water as well. Adding the cooking color. I will use the whole 30 milliliters because the more you use the more color your plant's herbs will have. Mixing. You could use separate containers but I prefer it this way for the purpose of this video. Placing the Asparagus Cetaceus, Solirolia solirolii and Chamadoria elegans.
placing a piece of cellophane on top of the plants and keep pressing until all plants are deep covered in the liquid mix. To make sure that the plants will stay deep in the mix, place another plastic container on top and press it down a bit. Keep them like this at least for a couple days. The more you let them in the mix, the more color they will take so personally I let them for at least 3 days and if needed up to 5 days. 4 days later. Carefully taking the plastic container and cellophane away. Placing the plants on a piece of paper towel. As you can see their color has no problems. You can use these as a whole but personally I will use just the leaves. The little ones keep lots of liquid so ring drain a bit longer. As you can see, their colors are more than great. Just as I said before, you can use the mix for another project, couple more times. Place another piece of paper towel on top and press down to ring drain absorb the liquids. Transfer everything to a new pair of paper towels if one needed just like I do. As you can see they seem totally fresh and in perfect condition. Placing them in a plastic container without a cover for a couple days in a room temperature. Attention! If you will place a cover there is a chance that mold will grow on the plants and you don't want that. Take care! Repeating the process for the rest of the plants. You can paint the plants if you don't like their color or if you need a specific color for your diorama. A very easy process that in about 4 days produces your own natural plant herbs instead of using fake ones. Baby tears because of their small size can be difficult to work with but you can keep trying until you succeed. As I said before, I will be using just their leaves. That was it. An easy project that preserves your natural plants and herbs, in just a few days, for your dioramas instead of constantly buying ones that cost a lot more and may take the same or more time for their delivery.
hit the like, subscribe and notifications bell buttons. This way, together, we can grow a community around the exciting art of scale modeling. Stay tuned for more scale modeling videos. Thanks for watching.